Hi there, YouTube. Today, I am going to help you determine whether or not your AC control module is bad in a first generation Toyota Tacoma. In this case, this is a 2002. And I recently had a compressor that went bad. So I thought, I actually thought it was the clutch that went bad. And uh, that was the case. Uh, but long story short, I was popping the AC fuse underneath the hood, it was a 10 amp fuse. And uh, I ended up putting a bigger fuse in there and the AC worked for a little while until it didn't. Well, I have since replaced the entire compressor. And upon doing that, uh, it was noticed that I had no voltage to the AC clutch. And there's only a few things that can cause that. Uh, primarily, the dual pressure switch. And first off, I'm gonna give you a synopsis of how it works. When the blower switch is set to on, current from the heater fuse flows through the heater relay to AC fuse to terminal two of the AC dual pressure switch to terminal one to terminal three of the AC control assembly. The evaporator switch, sorry, the evaporator temperature signal from the AC thermistor are all supplied to the AC control assembly. When the AC switch is turned on, the AC clutch turns on. So, basically what we're getting at here, guys, is you have power coming from over here at the fuse box. It runs through the heater relay and goes through the 10 amp AC fuse. And from the AC fuse, it comes down into this glove box just behind it, there's a dual pressure switch. If this pressure is too high or if it's too low, the switch will break continuity. From there, that positive 12 volts runs through that switch to the AC control module. And in order to determine whether or not this AC control module is bad, first you need to test to see if you have continuity on the dual pressure switch. If you have no pressure in your AC system, the dual pressure switch will not have continuity. So the first thing you need to do is check to see if you have continuity. Well, here's a diagram of the system itself. The dual pressure switch is not on this page, but here's the AC control assembly. And right here is the dual pressure switch. So as you can see, there's a black with a light blue line, or a black with a light blue wire, and a light blue with a white line wire. Now you can check this two different ways. You can check it by removing this and going to the black with a light blue stripe wire and the light blue with a white stripe wire and checking to see if you have continuity between the two. They're on a plug here on this side of the AC unit. Or right through here, they are just behind here and you can test continuity between the two points on this plug with it still plugged in you can just stick your meter the points on your meter directly in there and if you have continuity there then your dual pressure switch is not stopping you from getting power to your uh, AC compressor clutch so, at that point, the thermosistor could be bad, but that's the least likely thing to be your issue here. So, from there, you're going to want to do a continuity check between the wire going from here directly to the AC compressor and the AC compressor itself. And, let's see which one that is. The AC magnet clutch is a light green wire. So, there's a light green wire on this side, on this plug assembly, and you need to check continuity from there to the plug at the AC compressor at the hood. And if you're not getting continuity there, then there's a break in the wire. So, if you have continuity and you have popped a fuse under the hood, then more than likely, this is your problem. If it's not supplying power to the AC clutch, it will still function. The AC light will still come on if there's a good fuse in. It will still work the blower. 
the blower door actuator will still work. It is possible for all of those things to not, to still work and it not supply power. I just recently replaced it and that solved my problem like it was nothing. So since then, I have solved this problem. I've recharged my system and everything's working as good as new. I'm gonna post an Amazon affiliate link to a new AC control module. I'm also gonna post an Amazon, or not an Amazon affiliate link, but a link to this wiring diagram for the Toyota Tacoma. And this that wiring diagram actually goes over the entire system. You're gonna to have to, over the entire truck, you're gonna to have to actually scroll down to the air conditioning portion of it. But that should solve your problem, guys. If you were curious, if your AC control module was bad, hopefully this video helped. Thanks.